Mark Corkin. Hi, Mark. How are you? Thanks for checking in. What can you tell us about the roads? Well, they look pretty good right now, considering that we've been having quite a bit of snow. We've had crews out since the early hours treating and plowing as fast as they can. Um, snow should be tapering off. You know, there's a little bit of slush here and there. If people have to get out, they could get around. They just need to, to go slow. Don't expect to drive the speed limit. Um, if they could wait a little while, I'd appreciate that because we're really trying to get rid of this stuff before it cools off around 10 o'clock. Yeah, sure. Uh, Mark, what was, the, what was the worst area hit and what, what got it bad and what, what didn't get it so bad? Well, it really came in from the north and it's moved to the south and it's pretty consistent across the region. I know that we had a little more trouble on I-70 that, um, you know, it's, it just came in quick and there's a lot of people that drive on I-70. So there were a couple incidents there this morning. But we've taken care of those. We've cleaned it up, and people are moving around. They just need to go slow. Uh, and you mentioned now uh, the really cold weather is going to come in later in the afternoon. Uh, you want to get this off the road so when the cold weather comes, the roads are at least passable. I'm told that when it starts dropping, it's going to drop quick. And by 10 o'clock, we'll be below 20, and it's going to keep dropping throughout the day. And so at some point, does the, does the salt and the brine no longer work because it's so cold? Around 20 degrees, salt and brine alone won't work anymore. So we've already started adding in a little beet juice, but by 10 o'clock we'll have to switch chemicals to something stronger. All right, good. All right, uh, Mark, thanks for checking in. Have a good day. You too. There you go. There's Mark Corcoran from uh